the Side Note Suplex. China, WWE's ninth wonder of the world, is the subject of a new Vice documentary. Articles out of avclub.com and yahoo.com. The ninth wonder of the world, China, was an important part of WWE's Attitude Era of the late 90s and early 2000s. China struggled in the years following her exit from the WWE. A new documentary from Vice will dive into the life of Joni Lauer, the pioneering WWE performer, better known as her ring name, China, who passed away of an overdose in April 2016. Joni, aka China's rise and fall, is the stuff of Shakespearean drama, but underneath all that flesh, she was an intelligent and sensitive person who struggled with addiction. Vice Versa, China director, said in a statement to People Magazine recently. The documentary will premiere on Vice TV on June 17th at 9 p.m. Eastern and features interviews with WWE superstars Mick Foley, Sean X-Pac Waltman, Billy Gunn, and one of the head writers of the WWE Attitude Era, Vince Russo, and Dr. Drew Pinsky who treated China on the Celebrity Rehab television show. The film promises unprecedented access to the last year of China's life as she embarked on a comeback with the unfinished documentary, The Resurrection of China. The director also stated, this documentary will give viewers an intimate and unfiltered view of her personal journey as a pop culture icon and will compassionately tell the true story of China's last year of life. Lauer rose to fame as a member of D-Generation X, the six-member faction that helped to cement the WWE as a powerhouse entertainment brand in the 1990s and early 2000s. The group was made up of Lauer, aka China, Billy Gunn, Sean Waltman, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and the road dog Jesse James, who were all inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2019. According to Vice, the movie comes as part of an effort to expand Vice TV's wrestling coverage following the success of Dark Side of the Ring. With the critical acclaim and success of our hit series, Dark Side of the Ring, we wanted to expand our wrestling content. Catherine White, Vice TV's head of production, says in the press release, China's story is so powerful, she was a disruptor and an icon. A reminder of China's accomplishments in the WWE. She was the first woman to participate in the Royal Rumble and King of the Ring tournament. She was a two-time WWF Intercontinental Champion and the only woman to do so. She was also the WWF Women's Champion. She was also the first woman to become number one contender for the WWF Championship. China held singles victories over several prominent male wrestlers, including Triple H, Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, and Jeff Jarrett. China left what WWE called a lasting legacy as the most dominant female competitor of all time. After leaving the WWF in 2001, China wrestled in NJPW New Japan Pro Wrestling in 2002 and TNA in 2011. And we can see China's influence even up to now with stars such as Raquel Gonzalez in NXT. It will definitely be interesting to see what this documentary has to offer. Dark Side of the Ring, as we know, is in its third season now. I know a lot of casual fans who are really into the Dark Side of the Ring series and just shoot interview style stuff. Shoot interviews, as we know, have always been a hot commodity. Shout out to Kayfabe Commentaries, one of the best to do it in that realm. And it definitely seems to be picking up again, especially as we see A&E jumping on the bandwagon of these shoot style documentaries. So how do you feel? Are you excited for this China documentary? Will you be tuning in? Let us know your comments below and stay tuned for more from Side Note Suplex.